climatic events, extreme climatic events, drove almost 57 million people into food crisis last year in 2002. Climate change affects food insecurity and, and agriculture in two ways. Um, climate shocks, extreme events, whether those are cyclones or droughts or earthquakes and so on, um, cause widespread damages, widespread losses and damages, and that affects people directly, the most vulnerable people. The second pathway is much more gradual. It's the slow onset, it's the creeping effect that climate, ha climate change has on, on agriculture and on food systems. And that's where you see the degradation of land, uh, salinity um, entering into the soil, into the groundwater, and that has a very long-term damaging effect on food production. And that doesn't make the headlines, by the way. Up to 40% um, of the planet's total land area is currently degraded. That's absolutely massive. And that forces farmers all across the world to abandon their lands, um, to have to find alternative solutions, and that affects the food security of the entire planet. A lot of people in the developing world don't have access to clean water. So that has a direct impact on malnutrition because one of the underlying causes of malnutrition is, um, you know, is poor drinking water which causes disease and coupled with uh, poor sanitation, you know, that makes um, people sick and, and can, they cannot absorb their food and that creates malnutrition. Uh, there's also another aspect here which is the burden of collecting water. Across the developing world, the burden of collecting water falls on women and girls and that means that those women are spending huge amounts of their time collecting water, you know, girls aren't attending school, uh, and there are security concerns uh, in women, you know, traversing land to, to be able to collect water. So clearly there's the impact of, uh, of w w insufficient water on, on crops and on, on, on food production. You need a lot of water to produce food. So as we're seeing increasing droughts, increasing stresses when it comes to water resources, well that also impacts the uh, production of food that is, that is going down. Two billion people worldwide live on land that is vulnerable to desertification. And that means also that there's a displacement of people because they can't grow food where they typically live and they have to move. With regard to India, 60% of agriculture depends on rainfall and we're seeing big shifts in, in the monsoons in this country. And the monsoons are making the drought areas of the country, the already dry areas of the country, worse because they're shifting away from those areas. So we're particularly worried about certain states, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, where there are particularly vulnerable tribal groups, for instance, that depend on natural resources and those communities are being directly affected. Um, they're, reduced, they're facing reduced yields, less uh, food production, and what we know is that climate change is projected to reduce wheat yields, for example, by 19% by 2050 and the Caliph maize yields will be reduced potentially 18% by 2050. So those are very concrete projections. And 80% of farmers in India are smallholders and they need a lot of support in adapting and dealing with climate change. One is that we need a stronger humanitarian system. The current humanitarian system needs reforming, that's clear more anticipatory action, not just responding once an emergency hits. And that means that there are plenty of tools, climate risk insurance, uh, more humanitarian dollars are needed as well. Better safety net programs are needed. I think India is very much leading the way, to be honest, on this because the National Food Security Act, um, which India has with the big four 
uh, food-based safety nets is covering more than a, million, a billion people here in this country. We all have, I think, a lot to learn from these systems and all systems, social protection systems of this kind, whether it's midday meals or it's a public distribution system, can always be strengthened and improved. And so, again, this is an area where WFP is working.